Hey, what's up guys, Boss X7 here, and today I have a quick tutorial for you guys on my scenery pack. And as well as I'm going to go over a few things that I'm working on currently. So let's get started here. Some of you guys might not even know how to use this. So go to Import Coaster in your own park, and go to Boss X7 Support Scenery Pack. Click it and press open. And it will open up a list for all the senior items that I added. So, say for instance I want to import a box staircase. Press OK. And you'll see right here, it'll import the the unfrozen version of the box staircase. And all you have to do from here is just copy it, and you guys can add it to whatever you want. They all have pre-made colors, so you guys would have to change each uh, support color on your own, unfortunately. But uh, I kind of wish there was a way I can just hide the whole thing and change the colors, but not possible currently. And uh, yeah, so that's how you import it. Now a few things to go over. With stuff with footers like this, with like this table here and the chairs, um, if you have your terrain set to different heights, so my terrain right now on this on this uh, base map is 3.2 feet. So if your saber your terrain is set to 12 feet, then the footers will always spawn on top of the terrain, but it'll actually place the nodes exactly where they are right here. So that means the nodes will end up spawning underground and just highlight them and move them up uh, to where they line up again. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it with the, the footers. And you guys, some of you guys have questions if you guys can use this or not. Yes, you guys can use this entire thing, I don't mind. Uh, just go ahead and build your theme parks, that's why I gave it to you guys. That's why it's in this pack. And uh, have fun with it. I actually wasn't quite done, I was gonna put um, like the toll gates in front and everything. And with the fences here, so if you go to Custer and say we want the steel fence. Now let's unfreeze it. Now you'll see how these fences were built. So all you have to do with the fences is just copy and paste all of them. And then after you've done that, individually move these up. So you can move them up to make the spikes. So keep them all down at first, just like this. And copy and paste the entire thing, make your fence, and then go back and say for instance, I wanna skip 10 of them, move one up, skip 10, and just keep doing that. And with the wooden fence, just do the same thing. Just copy and paste and move these uh, end ones up, and uh, you guys can change the colors, different kinds of wood, wood colors, and all kinds of cool stuff. And lastly, with the stations here, I built these stations um, and just put them in the pack for you guys can reference them and kind of make your own stations. You guys can copy them if you want to. Um, but just to show you guys how to make a basic station, I might uh, make a station template where it's really simple with the base station with the uh, it's opening here in the middle with the caution tape on it. And so you guys can make your own stations from there. So it's not specifically themed like these ones are. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that later. If you guys have any more suggestions for tutorials, uh, leave a comment down below because I'm we're kind of running out here. I have a few tutorials I'm still going to be doing in a few days here, um, as well as the onboard audio. And I think someone asked for coaster signs. So I'll be doing those shortly here. And I am currently working on a coaster. So I figured I was due for a coaster here pretty soon. So I've been working on that as well as the version two of this very scenery pack. Um, and if you guys remember, if you guys have any suggestions for the scenery pack, make sure you tell me before I release it because I can go ahead and add it and make it for you guys uh, really simple. So uh, yeah, with that, I'm gonna end the video here and uh, see you guys on my next upload.